All right, thank you. We are back with Wolfman. Now, uh, d- d- during the break, you were telling me that you that the way you met Mysterion was a uh, very interesting. It was interesting. Um, the song actually that you guys just played, uh, Wolfman, that was an old one that I had I had written, and I knew the Blue Demons, and I told him that I'd written I actually written a song called mm-hmm. about. Uh, a guy in love with a female masked Mexican luchador. Mm-hmm. So I thought, you know, it's very sexy. So I thought, you know, maybe they'd like to do that song. And I also wrote that Wolfman song you just heard. And so I was working with the, I, I said, why don't we work on this? And he said, why don't you come out to a show that we're playing at? And little did I know, I didn't know, he didn't tell me that it was actually one of Mysterion's early shows. And I saw it, and here's this guy, spooky magician, mind reader, with, you know, burlesque dancers and monsters, and that was right up my alley. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, basically, I didn't think that I would be in the show. I had no idea that I'd ever be in the show. And then one day I went to see the Blue Demons perform again at the Rivoli, and I see Dr. Mysterion coming, you know, my way. And I said, hi, Mysterion, I'm the Wolfman. And he says, oh, how nice to meet you. Want to wrestle me? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, sure, because I'd actually wrestled a masked Mexican wrestler and a gorilla before, you know, and it was fun. So I said, sure, any time. And he said, well, I'm glad you said that because your face is already on the flyers. And I look, and there's this poster there, Mysterion versus the Wolfman, announcing oh this wrestling match. And, and, you know, and I was working that night. You know, and it was just like, what? And he was just like, the poster all over. He, he actually postered this thing before he'd even asked me if I'd do it. So, you know, and I was just like, he was like, take the night off. Come on, I'll pay you, you know. So, and he did. So it was great fun. It was a good night. It started out sort of, uh, it was supposed to be a friendly exhibition match, but then something happened that turned it into a real fight. Mm. See, what happened was he had this assistant, you know, that he kind of created out of, like, cat parts and dead bodies. Beautiful girl, sort of Jackie Onassis meets, you know, Betty Page kind of thing. I assumed, you know, I mean, when you make a monster, it's usually for some other monster. That's the way Dr. Frankenstein did it, so I thought she was mine, you know, so I... (laughs) Yeah, honest mistake. So I go up on stage, and I'm like trying out my best lines, I'm all like, where have I been all my life, and did you break dance when you fell from heaven, and stuff like that, Aww. and she just screamed and ran off, so I was pretty pissed off, and I was like, well, you better make me a bride then, and, and then he said, okay, fine, whatever, so I come back after the 15 minute intermission, still no bride, Aww. what the hell, so then, yeah, we just, did you know, you whimper? No, I was mad. You know, we sure. just went right to sure. it. I was, yeah, throwing him into tables and everything, and we fought all the way to the washroom. And he like stuck my head in the toilet and stuff, and just like, you know, there's pictures of this. I actually had a toilet seat around my neck, with, like the lids hanging down here and paper everywhere. And he came out and he was yelling at everybody, "I'm the best! I drowned him!" Blah blah blah. No way. So I came out and I hit him with a toilet seat. I put him in a full Nelson, and he was like, "Okay, if you let go, I promise I'll make you a bride." And I was like, "I've heard that one." And he said, "Okay, I'll promise I'll make you a bride, and I'll take you out to see Harry Honey's Friday night," which was basically he found this Yahoo group of hair suit females that were having a you know dance night out at some club so we went to open party and we've been friends ever since. That's a, oh, that sounds like a radical time. Nice, yeah. It was a good time, that's for sure. Yeah. But you know, whatever what happens at the Harry Honey's party stays at the Harry Honey's party. I've heard that. I've heard that.